I'm going to invite up next someone who some of you may have heard of, the artist with only one name, Becker. <clears throat> now, now, Becker wanted me to tell you that he is the coolest, most awesomest, nicest, no, he didn't. Uh, we all know Becker for his beautiful, beautiful imagery. We met years ago. Uh, actually, at my very first presentation that I did here, he was in the audience, and I'm like, oh, great. I've got to present in front of Becker and all these great guys. Like, this is going to suck. Uh, and at the end of it, he was the most gracious. Uh, he thanked me. He supported me, and we've been friends ever since. Uh, you all are probably familiar with the B-School, one of the most uh, important educational resources for photographers. Uh, Becker was recently named by PDN Magazine as one of the most influential photographers living. So I decided I'm going to feign my own death so that I can be the most influential photographer dead. So he's already got that title. So welcome to the stage, Becker. All right, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Today I want to talk about how to pick up bridesmaids and turn them into clients. I've been single for most of my adult life here, and I noticed that a lot of similarities between picking up the ladies and turning them into clients. So my favorite sentence in the whole world is, hi, my name is Jenny, and I was a bridesmaid in Lisa's wedding. Because I go from thinking, uh, what pack, or is she going to hire me, to what package is she going to pick? Because she's seen me in action, and I know she's going to hire me, because I got some game. And I realized that the wedding game, just like with the lady, it's not all about my good looks, okay? It's not just about my pretty pictures. There's so many more important factors that go into determining your success as a photographer. And again, I get, rid of, get ready for every wedding as if I was getting ready for a hot date. Long shower, close shave, do a little something with my eyebrows, a little extra product in my hair. I want to make sure that I'm looking good at the wedding. And also, I want to dress to impress. I want to suit up. I don't want to be that photographer showing up at the wedding in black jeans and black sneakers. I want to look like I belong. I want to look like an inviting guest. And I want to really make sure that I belong and, you know, look good doing my job. Confidence is sexy, okay? Um, evolution tells us that women are attracted to the dominant male. And so you got to show up like you own the place, like you know what you're doing. Because, uh, Again, if you're sitting there like, oh, I don't know, like I'm a little nervous right now. Doesn't look real sexy, does it? <laughs> anyway, your first impressions count. You got to walk into the room like you own the joint. You got to make eye contact. You got to smile. You got to be warm and friendly and just make an impression with people right off the bat because that's what they're going to remember through the rest of the day. You got to set the tone right off the bat. Use their name. How to win friends and influence people tells us that a person's own name is the most beautiful sound in the world. And guys, has it ever worked out if you called the woman, a woman the wrong name? Has that ever worked for you? It not work out. Okay, you got to be excellent in their presence. Women also not only attracted to confidence, but competence. You know, I love showing off on the back of the camera and saying, hey, check out these photos. Because we all know that they look really good when they're small on the back of a camera, right? They can't tell that they're out of folks yet. you got to divide and conquer. You know, you got to separate the girls at the bar. You can't, like, you know, ask her for her number in front of all her other girlfriends. you got to get her aside. And I'm not saying I'm trying to get her number at the wedding, but I do want her to friend me on Facebook. You know, that way you can see when she goes from it's complicated to engaged. Anyway, you got to take care of her friend. you got to take care of the bride. If you take a good job and you get the, you get the bride taken care of, the bridesmaids are impressed. Like, oh, he's looking after my friend. He's giving her good service, good pictures having a good time, that's always going to help you out. You got to smile. I know I said it before, but nonverbal communication, a little smile makes everybody feel better. So like I said, you got to just be confident, comfortable, and just, you know, show off those pearly whites. Make sure you brush your teeth before the wedding. We already talked about that. Got a little personality? I've been saying this for years. Your people skills are so much more important than your photo skills or your Photoshop skills. No offense, Kevin. Uh, but again, you gotta have you got to have a good, warm personality because it's going to go a long way in this business. Flattery will get you everywhere. You know, you're looking at these bridesmaids. They're wearing a dress that they probably hate. They're not used to wearing an updo. They got way more makeup on than they're normally using. A sincere compliment, just, hey, you look beautiful in that dress. That, that's going to go a long, long way. You got to hook them up. You're there at the wedding. You got a camera. You got a talent. You got skill. You take some pictures of her and her boyfriend. He could be the one. Or if she's a single gal, take some pictures that she can use on her Match.com profile. Like I said, you got to hook her up with that profile. 
perfect. Don't be desperate. You don't want to be like, oh, here's my card. Hire me, hire, hire me. You know, women, like I said, they don't, they like to, they're like guys that are a little more aloof, a little more confident, a little more cool. You don't want to seem desperate for that job. So, like I said, don't, don't, don't overdo it at the weddings. Let the bride be your wingman. I can sit here bragging about myself all day. I, I'm so good at this. I sound like a total tool, right? But if the bride's like, oh my gosh, Becker is amazing. He's so awesome. He's going to be a great, like, let the bride sell you. Don't worry about selling yourself. Hey, getting good with her folks. A lot of times the bridesmaids, known the bride forever, her folks are also at the wedding. Take some pictures with them. Getting good with them, you know, because eventually they're going to be the ones writing the checks. Right, Mom and Dad? So, again, it's always good to get in with the, the girlfriends folks or the bridesmaids folks. Again, you got to flirt a little. Like I said, I, I love my job. i got passion for it. I show up, and, again, I love beautiful uh, bridesmaids, and it's just a fun job to be around there. Um, so like I said, you got to get, gotta get your flirt on, a little wink, nice smile. It's all good. And lastly, I want to tell you that you got to go both ways, okay? Uh, don't ask, don't tell, but I'm telling you, my second favorite sentence in the whole wide world is, hey, dude, uh, you shot my buddy's wedding. Uh, so it's the same kind of thing. I want to flirt with the groomsmen, too. So thanks so much. Take care. <laughs>